guys, welcome back to another video from Amateur Priority Toys. Uh, today is going to be an unboxing video, and it's a video I've been pretty excited to make. Um, so these boxes showed up the other day, uh, some stuff from eBay, so here it is. Um, so they showed up the other day and I've been just waiting to make this video. Um, to unbox it. So I haven't seen anything in here. I've just cut it open. Um, but yeah, so uh, it's going to be some Lord of the Rings figures that I got from eBay. Thank you, no. Alright, so I'm just going to come in here randomly. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Except there's a few figures wrapped up in here. Let's squish this back just a little bit. But yeah, I've just been waiting to make this video. I mean, it's been kind of a crazy couple of weeks at work. I've just been really stressed and just ready to relax and talk about some toys. So. Here we have Sam in his orc disguise from Return of the King. And he looks really good. It's a really good likeness to Sean Astin. And he's got his sword. Looks very good. Yeah, when I when I got all those other Lord of the Rings figures in my last video, um my last haul video. I've just been on this huge Lord of the Rings high. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. I was just so impressed with these like old Toy Biz figures, like the sculpting, the textures, and like the likenesses. Like for 2002 or 2003, whenever this was, that looks really good. First one is uh, Sam in the Orc Disguise. Next we have. Ah, okay. Next we have Eowyn from uh, Rohan. So this is her when she's like snuck into the battle. Um, the likeness isn't as, as good for, for this one, but she looks good. Um, Again, just really good textures. So nice. This is one of my, you know, probably one of my least favorite characters, but this figure looks really nice. She's got thigh swivels, she got calf swivel, ankle, knees, elbows, wrists. Uh, she's got like a little lower bicep swivel. Um, she's got shoulders, waist, and some head movement. So really good articulation for a I love the way that cape looks. So uh, there should be some parts with these, so I'm going to have to try to match up the, the pieces with the figures. Oh, come on now. Let's focus here. There we go. Aha! And we have the matching Frodo to go with our uh, Mordor Orc Disguise, Sam. So this is a very good likeness to um, Elijah Wood. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I like him. Uh, his uh, his ankles were just like completely like like his like his foot was just completely straight on both of these. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna move the box because I feel like it's making my camera not know what to focus on. One more figure here. And we have 
Ooh. You know, I don't remember seeing this guy in the photos. This is a Boromir from Gondor in his um, like battle getup. He looks really, really nice. Wow, I did not know this figure was included. I, I get the feeling this was not his cape. <laughs> this looks more like a cape to a ring wraith or something, but he's got it on him right now. So we'll just leave that. He's got a gimmick. It's a pretty good, um, Sean Bean. <laughs> I couldn't think of his name for a second. Uh, he looks so good here. Like, look at these, these details on here. Very nice. I love the green color. Yeah, this is not his cape. Uh, okay. So maybe, maybe he was in the photos and I didn't recognize him. I'm pretty sure he wasn't though, but hey, I'll take him. Okay. Ah, so here we have a baggie full of a bunch of stuff. So uh, I'll go through that last. Still some more in here. Okay. Yes, tissue. Okay. Tissue wrapping is right here. Okay. That is a little. Um, I'm not sure exactly which appearance this is supposed to be. I don't remember when he wears this armor. If it's Return of the King or if it is Two Towers. I want to say Return of the King. Not sure. So he's got his sword. I really like the way the armor looks. And I think this is probably the best likeness of the, the three different uh, Legolas figures I have. Um, the quiver has some nice like detailing here with the green. Really like that. Uh, his hair looks nice. Let's get his sword out. So he has something to hold. I've learned you gotta be really careful with these these old toy biz like swords. I had a couple things actually break on me um, after the last video. Okay, he does not want to hold it. I'm not going to force it. Let's put that back in there. But yeah, I had a couple things break on me after the last video, which was kind of frustrating and sad. Um, but it is old plastic, it's, you know, drying out. And it's going to be a little brittle. Um, I've noticed. If I have any complaint about this line of figures, it's um, they don't, they have a lot of hard plastic and the hands are hard plastic. So like nowadays figures will have softer plastic for the hands so it's easier to, um, you know, kind of maneuver things with the hands without breaking. Here we have a Bilbo. But yeah, this line didn't really have that. Yeah, Here I got Bilbo. This one I actually did have. This is a duplicate now. Um, so let's have to compare them, see which one's got the better paint job. Yeah, good old Bilbo. He's even got his book in there. I'm gonna sit him down because this figure does not like this thing. And we have a Gimli. This can can't tell if he's the same. No, he looks different. I think this is a different one than the one I had. He's got his axe in his little little holster. And he's got a gimmick. There we go. So yeah, he looks good. I feel like the Gimli figures, 
kind of got like the least amount of love, maybe. They just feel a little, uh, a little thrown together. You could use like maybe a little bit more paint or something. He looks very like, just, like a brown blob. There's some parts. And then this little piece of tissue. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost at the end of it. The one thing I specifically need to do. Oh, here he is. Here he is. I know it's exciting for this one. Yes. Yes. We have trees. Right, so this picture goes for a little bit of money. So, um, what I paid for the lot was actually a really good deal, especially if you consider the fact that I got Treebeard. Um, those joints are a little odd. I don't want to break them. Okay. I'm scooching back. His face looks really, really nice. Look at that. That is really cool. I wonder if you can take your Marion Pippin and sit them. Yeah, you kind of can. Got Bilbo up here. You can kind of sit him up there. Okay. So, yeah, he's got some really nice leaves, great textures and greens. Um, his joints are a little odd in his arms, and I'm worried. They're gonna break. It's hard to find where the bend is, especially on this hand. Like it feels like it should bend this way, but it doesn't want to. He's got articulation here in his fingers. Oh, I'd hate to break this on camera. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he just bends a little weird on that side. Got some knee articulation. Let's get some light on here. But yeah, he looks really good. I like him a lot. Definitely worth it. Um, just for this figure alone. Let's take him way back there. This is pretty tall. Um, Oh, no, there's a few more little things. Oh, that's right. I forgot it came with this. Oh, uh, this is funny. Um, let's get it out of here. <laughs> it came with a little... A little Frodo Christmas ornament. That's funny. He doesn't have the, uh... Little string for the hook, but... That's okay. I'm excited to put him on the tree next year. And... This is a little Hallmark card, Frodo Baggins. Holiday Memory 2004, Hallmark Keepsake. Hmm, interesting. I'll stick this in with my trading cards or something. Okay, um, last thing in here. I do not remember. Do not remember which trade this is supposed to be. Oh, yes, now I do. I remember. So, back when I got my last haul, there was another Boromir that I left behind and I kind of regretted. And they had him in this auction. So, here he is. He, his face is very uh, odd. <laughs> it's kind of flat and the paint is really weird, but there he is. He's got a little gimmick. Oh. Okay, his hands and his head move together. I got my lights again. Why? Why? Um, yeah. There's the holster for his knife, just holding. Just kind of odd. I definitely left him behind because I thought the other Boromir was nicer. It definitely is. Um, 
Okay, put this R. So there we go. Let's go down. Yeah, this is a uh, interesting board here. Definitely not the best. And his cape makes him very top heavy. He has a big old rubber cape. Just sculpted nicely, but does not want to stand. In fact, using the cape to get him to stand. This is leaning against it. Okay, so that's everything on the box. And then there's just a bunch of parts in here. Let's open this bag. And we have a shield. I don't think this goes to anybody here though. Um, we have a cape, which actually is Gimli's. I think this is the same Gimli I got before. Yeah. Yep, I recognize him now with his big cape. So, no duplicate there. Um, it is a cape that looks like it belongs to a hobbit. I'm assuming this is. No? No, not his either. Because it's got like a little little notch here. Is that it? I don't think uh, it's either a Frodo or a Sam. I don't think they came in this set. Um, okay. Whoa. He's got some... Whoa. He, this guy did not have all this pictured. Lord of the Rings Advanced Tickets now available. Opens December 19th. Theaters everywhere. It's a little like button. We've got one of Worm Tongue. The great, um. Oh no, I can't think of his name right now. The great Chucky. Oh no. I can't think of his name. Uh, I feel so stupid. Brad Dorf. Brad Dorf. Got it. Alright, here we go. I was about to be really ashamed of myself. I couldn't remember Brad Dorf's name. Ah. Ah, sorry. Just getting some water. Okay. God, it looks like some sort of sleeping bag, probably. Or a hobbit. We have a quiver with some arrows. Not sure who these go to. Maybe they go to Aaron. Uh, another axe for Gimli. Um, a helmet, which I do believe is Aaron's. Yep. There she is. Uh, she's probably my least favorite character. I mean, she kind of annoyed me a little bit in some parts of the movie. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, a helmet to an elf soldier. Boromir's shield. I'm not gonna put all these on, by the way. Ah, these are the helmets for. Remember. Which one is which? Oh, a little, a little pot. <laughs> that definitely came with a sand or something. We've got a spear. Got a Gimli axe. Um, some more arrows. Um. Belt or something that's too big for these hobbits. Uh, those. <clears throat> and here's the other 
I don't remember which which one of those guys is wearing which one. Ah, another quiver. With more arrows. I am not short on arrows, I'll tell you that. Um, a bow, I'm assuming is Legolas's. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, looks like an orc shield. Looks like an orc sword. Oh my god, it's so... Uh, a mithril. Bilbo. Uh, this is Gimli's. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna pull the rest of it out. <laughs> oh my god. So, a whole bunch of arrows and swords and two different forms of Gondor. <clears throat> oh man. There's so much stuff in there. Okay. We have some other stuff to get to, so I'm not going to organize all those parts right now. So, let me open up the second package. Which I'm really excited about. Okay. Oh, yes. I'll just start with the main, the main thing I got this for. The, oh man, how am I going to do this? The 11 inch Aragorn. <clears throat> he looks really good. Really good likeness to Vigo uh, Morrison. So, uh, it did say it came with a sword, so I gotta look around for that in the bag. Kind of a loose joint. He's got bicep swivels. Doesn't look like he has any no wrist articulation. He's got shoulders. A little bit of head. Waist. He's got swivels. And he's got forward and back. Double jointed knees. And a swivel at the upper ankle. He's got his ring sculpted on there, his hand. Looks really good. Very cool. Really excited for this figure. <clears throat> I really love like, I guess he's, he's technically 11 inches, but I do love like 12 inch uh, figures. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, this is Legolas, but what did they do to him? Why does he look like that? <laughs> oh man, I wonder how many Legoluses they made. I feel like he got the most figures. Uh, so this one's more more flat colors, flat green. This is like a brighter brown. It's got the same armor, but his head is different. And um. A great way. <laughs> so it looks like it's the same exact sculpt, but the head is different as this one. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. The head is different, and <clears throat> the cape looks like it's the same. So that's interesting. I'll just give him these little swords. He doesn't have a holster. Or he has a holster, but not a sword in it, so put that in there. Oh, you know what? This is probably Eowyn's. I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> this is one of those, like, just kind of fun things I like to do. Find uh, parts to share. So 
so like I'll give this guy a couple arrows and then I'll give the next legless some more arrows. Um, doesn't look like I have any more um, of his little daggers. Just have the one. <clears throat> That's alright. <clears throat> Check him out water. Just randomly, I have pulled out another cape to a hobbit. Let's see if this hobbit's in here. Okay, so here is another duplicate. This is Mary. Um, I did have this one from my haul. So I'm just gonna stick him over here. Um, Another hood, looks like it goes to a photo puppet. Ah, here is a photo. He has a cape. There he is. And there's actually a sting right here. So just can you give this to him. There we go. Oh, there goes Legolas. That's great. Literally just did a backflip off the table. Okay. And walking over. <clears throat> Come on. I am knocking over a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Okay, so here we have another Mary. This one is interesting. He's got a little gimmick. Um, <clears throat> any of these capes his, maybe? I don't think so. feet are very skinny and weird. Oh, he stands up okay, though. <laughs> There's a little, one of the little miniatures. Oh, man. I was afraid of this. So here's Aragorn's sword. Is very warped. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to work on fixing this somehow. But there he is. The sword. On the side, it looks okay. But. Yeah. When I saw it came in a bag like this, I was like, oh no. I hope some stuff's not bent. <laughs> so here we have Aragorn on a little miniature. A little miniature horsey. There's some nice greens in here, actually. So, I don't think he comes off, but that's okay. I didn't really want them off. So. Uh, doesn't want to stand. That's a bummer. That's a real bummer. Yeah, the legs are warped. Okay, last figure. <clears throat> Last figure, and then there's just one more little box with one thing in it. So here is a Sam. So this is a different Sam than I've had before. So I'm just going to stick his... I think this is his sword. There's his sword. Hey, you know what? Let's give him his little... Little pot too. 
God damn it. <clears throat> okay. So. Overall, pretty good haul. Um, I really love that Aragorn. I just gotta try to fix this sword. That tree beard looks amazing. Um, the Legolas is pretty good. The Eowyn looks pretty good. And that Boromir was a nice surprise. But we have one last thing. One last thing. I saw this guy. A pretty good deal. Um, I did not feel like spending the money. But I knew if I waited, I would have to spend more. Because he is pretty rare. And I can't get into this box. Almost done. Wow, they've got him really packed in here. Okay. Wow, he is really bundled up. I appreciate that. Okay, let's make some room here, because we need to show this guy off with all these parts. It is Sauron. Oh my god, he looks incredible. Oh my god. Look at this, guys. Look at that head. Oh, all that detailing. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And look, we have a cloth cape. Oh my god, he still works. I've seen other videos of people showing off their Sauron, and uh, one of the coolest things about him is, let's get some light on him, he has his fingers right there, and right here he has the ring, so you can actually how you can remove his fingers like when they were cut off and the ring will come off come on it's really stuck on there it's probably been on there for a long time so he comes with Kind of in scale ring for your Lord of the Rings collection. So you can have it more on like the tip of his finger, or if you want it more secure, you can stick it back where this person had it on the back side and then stick it onto his hand. Which that's what I'm going to do, because I don't want to lose it. So finding a Sauron on eBay that has the fingers and has the ring is extremely difficult. 
and it, this person had it. It was a pretty good deal. He also has his weapon, which is wrapped up here. So he was complete. Um, you know, they didn't actually even say if he worked or not, like the talking, but he does. Which, I mean, honestly, I just figured the batteries would be all acidic and not working and they'd have to replace them. But wow, this, it is, my camera is not doing this guy justice. He looks really good. Check out this little mace. Wow. Okay, so he's got shoulders, <clears throat> elbows, um, wrists. Waist, it looks like. Oh, wait, maybe not. Yeah, a little bit of waist. Legs go forward and not really back. Single jointed bend at the knee and some ankle joints. But wow. And then his cape is like kind of strapped to his arm right here. And he's even got the Try Me sticker on there. He's like a brand new figure. Alright, before I wrap up the video, let's try something real quick. Ooh, he looks so good. Wow, I want to get some great pictures of this guy. Um, so yeah, I've just been kind of busy with work and stuff, so I haven't really been taking pictures, and I'm very behind on some unboxings and some reviews, but I figure I could do just a quick little haul, little mini haul video on this stuff. So... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. <clears throat> Just real quick, there's all the capes, swords. I really like these buttons. That was a nice surprise too. I really like those. Um, yeah, pretty good. And you know, now that my Lord of the Rings collection is getting pretty big, it's hard to find figure lots that don't come with a bunch of duplicates. I got lucky and only got, I think, three duplicates in this lot, so. Really good. That Sauron is amazing. Tree beard looks awesome. Honestly, the Ale one looks really good. And that Boromir. So, what do you guys think? Uh, are there any essential Lord of the Rings figures I'm missing? Uh, I want to get more of this scale, of this Aragorn. But, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, be sure to check out my Instagram page for more toy photography, like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and okay, I'll see you guys later, bye.